Happy, 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 happy Thursday. OMG, I'm so glad that today is my Friday, right? So let me tell you about my day. I was, um, I got up my normal time, get ready to head out to go to work. Um, my car was cranked up. Somehow the keys were locked in the car. I'm like, oh my God, are you serious right now? And I thought about, I thought about the coaching that I just had went through, the modules I was, I, I have been going through. I thought about anger as a buffet and it's like, what are you picking? Because we can choose all these different things off the buffet and I could have chose anger, but I looked at the situation. I looked, what could I do about it? Right. What I can do differently is I can get me a spare key made because I don't have one of those. Right. So I call, um, I'm sitting here thinking like we're trying to get into it and you know, we weren't, we weren't successful, but we tried. Right. So I was like, Triple A, the Triple A, let me call Triple A and they'll get somebody here. So it was like before seven o'clock. I called Triple A and they're like, We can send somebody at eight thirty. I'm like, Oh my God, are you serious? So I was like, Okay, let me try to call a locksmith. I'm texting my coworker, like, look, I'm gonna be late, just just so you know. So um called the locksmith. Call a couple locksmith. Nobody in. I stay in a rural area, so it's like, oh, we don't have anybody in the area. And I call this other guy. And he was like, well, he answered the phone. He wanted to do this small talk, and you know, when you having this kind of day, I don't want to call it what kind of day it could have been. But I'm like, you know, I'm listening to him talk, and it's like, okay. And he's like, my son works for me. I'm gonna try to text him, call him, and, you know. And so I'm like, okay. So, you know, the other, the other people, AAA was like, okay, 8.30. So, it's like, okay, I, at this point, I'll have, all I can do is wait. I can try to get into it. And if I can't get into it, then it is what it is, right? And I felt myself reacting. I felt myself responding. And I was just like, oh, just no, no. Because lately, I have been, I have been caught up in other people's anger, and so when they express, I'm angry, I'm mad, and I just be like, mm, it has nothing to do with me because it doesn't. At the end of the day, I'm so glad that my coach gave me this analogy. So at the end of the day, it's like you have this variety of, of things on the buffet and you're choosing certain things. I can't put madness in you. I can't put anger in you. There's something that already resides there, right? So whenever my honey says, you're making me mad, I'm like, you're choosing to be mad. It's a choice. And so today I had to eat those words. And I was sitting there like, oh, man. And me and my coworker was just talking the other day. And I was just like, you know, I like getting perfect attendance and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, if I'm not not going to be there, I say I'm not going to be there. Like, you know, it's not a surprise. I take vacation or whatever. And then all of a sudden a day. And it was like beyond my control because I, did, I wasn't the one that did it. But, you know, and I could have, you know. I could have blamed and, and, you know, been upset, but I was like, and here's the thing with me. Take ownership of what you do. That's all I ask you to do. Just take ownership. Like, you know, I did it. I'm sorry. It's gone. It's over. It can't change anything, but it does. It does relieve you of, okay. You know, you you said you, you apologize. And sometimes you may or may not get that apology. I'm going to be honest with you. But it feels good to get one. It really does. It just frees you and just takes all this this weight off your shoulders. And sometimes you may not, you may or may not get that apology. So you got to be like, okay, you got to, you know, you got to keep on moving whether you get it or not. And I'm just so glad and so thankful that I got that. Because I'm telling you, people have been directing their anger at me. And I know it has nothing to do with me. And I tell people all the time, like, maybe now is not a good time to talk about it, to say anything. When you're mad, it's not, it, when you're mad, don't say or do anything. Because I promise you're going to say things and do things that you will regret, okay? In my pettiness, in my bitterness, in my anger, um, my ex, when we broke up. Um, I know before we broke up, he was, like, so fascinated over a Chevy Camaro's. So, you know what, after that lecture was completed and, um, 
it was like maybe like a year or so down the road and I it was you know my daughter was having issues with her car my car was about paid off I was like well I'm just gonna get me another car and honestly I went there to get a truck because that's really what I wanted but the bitter the the hurt the the pettiness in me was like mm, let's get a car like he wanted and make him make him jealous like you know make him mad make him whatever it never works I'm um, stuck with this car you know I it'll be paid it'll be paid for you know next year this time but it's like what was you thinking like never make the critical decisions you know when you're in these emotion this emotional state with anybody like I did so many things in that emotional state that I just wish I could undo but I can't and so I'm so glad that I learned this 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 analogy I'm so glad I learned I learned how to handle my emotions emotional intelligence is a really good book if you have any issues with that because that book helped me a whole lot too but listening to um, my coach say that was just like oh. it just gave me so much relief and it just made me look at things and people differently and when people are upset, I'm like, okay, we can't talk right now. It's not a good time to talk. And I'll just, I'll, 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 I'll just it, it, take myself out of that, out of that conversation, away from that situation, because I know, I know what happens when uh, you're angry and you're upset. You say and do things that you don't mean. And so, um, that's something that I just keep in mind. And so the, today, like literally, this past couple of weeks have had this has been this issue has been happening to me. So it's like, what? What? Look at here. It be testing you. That stuff be testing you. Stuff that you, that you just never know. But I'm so glad that I got the tools because it could have went differently. Like the old Jennifer would have been so upset, would have been just like blaming, fussing, cussing, just losing it. But I was like taking deep breaths and I was like, okay, all right. It's all right. So it is what it is. I can't change anything right now. So let's just, you know, going forward, this is what I need to do. So this won't happen again. And so um, a lot of times you meet people that don't know how to process their emotions, who don't know how to handle those things. So there has to be someone there that can do these things, right, that knows how to process their emotions and I'm so glad that I'm learning how to do this and my relationships are definitely changing I'm changing I'm growing evolving and um, I'm just glad about everything and I just wanted to share this with you because yeah it's real it's real this is real this is real it just happened today and I'm just sitting here just thinking about all the pieces to the puzzle like you have the pieces and you just put them in different places until you got it all together and so uh just wanted to share that with you all so enjoy the rest of your night Uh, until next time peace and love